One of the plans I got off the internet, the Lens 2 turbine. You can get it too if you want. Well, hello, YouTubers. What I got here pattern. This will be the pattern for all of the ribs that go into the wing on the vertical axis wing turbine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark these boards off here so that uh, we can cut them in strips. We have three boards. I should get uh, six out of each one. But you got knot holes and other imperfections. So uh, this particular wind generator wing is going to have four ribs in each in each one. That way we can put two support hubs. Okay, so I'm going to measure these off at 15 and a half inches each one. template that I made on a straight edge at the bottom and then the uh, curved part fairly close to the edge not exactly on it, fairly close go ahead and trace this pattern right on to here Next step is I want to go ahead and make a line from here all the way across the top there. Because that's that's gonna be where you're gonna be cutting. It's just a continuation of this line up to there. And then I like to just go ahead and out uh, here cut off dog ears here on side of it. And the rest I'm going to let the router do. The rest of the router is going to do that. Okay, so let's cut those off. step is, I'm going to drill out this hole right here on the drill press. And the way I'm going to do this, I put the pattern on here, 
I'll take this patch. Patch that hole. Here. It's easy for a drill to slip in wood. That way it'll get it done right. Be real careful on this stage. You really got to get that hole lined up just right. Because if you're off, and you're going to use a router on this. It's not going to match your pattern. You have to make another one. Okay, now if you look, you'll see this threaded post coming up out of the router table there. Now that's where the piece is going to pivot. Once it pivots, it'll come in contact with the blade down there. I set that blade so that it would be 3 8 inch up from the bottom. That way I can do one side, flip it over and do the other side, and it's not trying to cut all that all that wood at the same time. Works much better that way. Okay, so we're going to plunge this bit down into the this corner, this corner here. See, it's got a nice round circle. So we'll turn it over and do the other side. So here are the cutout ribs with a few extras in the event that uh, some of those don't work out. So we'll uh, start drilling the holes in the middle of them and uh, then we'll uh, put them on the router and get the radiuses cut. And then uh, we'll get them a bunch of them, put them, we'll bolt a bunch of them together and uh, <clears throat> get to go to the uh, belt sander.
Here I got the uh, pattern on top of the wood where these three holes are going to get center punched <coughs> so that I can uh, go ahead and put them on the router. So here you can see uh, this is a support beam that comes in and you can see how we can adjust the angle here by simply moving this back and forth once it's bolted in and, uh, and then we can tighten it where we want. So this is what it should look like when you're done, basically, before you glue it and screw it together. You've got two in the middle where the struts come in and then the outside ones don't have any.